hello 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 beautiful people welcome back to my channel i hope you are all well and you are all good again my name is manuela beef all those new around here who may not know who i am who may not know my name but you should know my name because my name is in the title and the chat in the name of my channel anyways don't mind me i'm just <laughs> chatting a whole lot so for those of you out there, for the ones who's watching this video and who's been possibly asking themselves for a while, oh, how can I become more confident or how does one become confident? There's many different ways. Um, I would say I'm a confident person. I've come to be confident. Obviously, everybody has insecurity, so there are things that I'm still working on. And But however, I've come a long way. I've come to really be somebody who's very comfortable in their own skin, who knows themselves and yeah, I'm content with who I am. I wasn't always like that, but we thank the grace of the Lord who has done a beautiful and wonderful work in me and he's able to do a beautiful and wonderful work in you as well. Honestly speaking, I still have some insecurities, you know, I think everybody has insecurities but yeah with this whole video i just hope that at the end of it you'll be able to get up and not allow your insecurities to take hold of you but become more confident and actually get up move and so on and so forth point and advice number one on to how to become more confident this one is being said i'm sure you've heard it so 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 many times but i'm just going to say it again because i'm just going to remind you i'm just going to remind me to be more confident we need to stop comparing stop comparing yourself to the next person we all know the phrase so much and i guess that we can even write it even with our eyes closed comparison is the thief of all joy and if you have no joy how can you learn to appreciate yourself and find joy and contentment in who you are? Comparison will make you feel as though you are not worthy, as though you know you are not considered, you are not loved, you are not seen. But all that is a lie. Comparison, like they say, comparison is the thief of all joy because it will literally rob you of your joy and rob you of actually being who you know that you can be and actually rob you of you um, enjoying your life. And one thing that I will say, yes, we can look to other people. There's nothing wrong to look to other people and being inspired by them. That's completely different. Comparison and a source of inspiration two different things when we look to somebody and we are inspired by them it means that we are encouraged by what they do there are some wonderful women out there who who like i said i'm so inspired by and i look to them and i see them doing bits i see them doing great stuff and i even see them being confident in what they're doing and that's such a great inspiration to me because that makes me see that makes me say that yes even though i am a woman yes even though i'm fairly young yes even though yes the situation in which i'm going through or which i'm in right now doesn't necessarily reflect where i want to go but yet still look into them and see how hard they work and how smart they work encourages me to also just focus and fix my eyes on my lane focus and fix my eyes on me and on what I'm doing and to push, to strive, to work hard, to work smart. And then by being also patient, I shall see the fruit of my labor. So yes, I do look to other people sometimes for inspiration, like we are human, but we just need to be careful that our inspiration doesn't cross that line to now become comparison. Because once you start comparing yourself, you're actually falling into pride Comparison will birth such things in you. Comparison will birth bitterness in you. Comparison will birth jealousy, will birth bitterness in you. And to be, and obviously you can't become confident. You can't become more confident like that. Yes, there are some people who are bitter, who are very jealous and envious and all of that, and they come across as confidence. But if you really take time to really look and analyze, you'll just see that it's arrogance. And with that arrogance is basically them being insecure. But we don't want to be like that, do we? So that being said, that was point and advice number one. To be more confident, you have to get 
get rid of all types of comparison. Yes, look to people for inspiration, but don't get so sucked in to the point that again, you cross the line and you enter into comparison. Advice and point number two, or yeah, advice point number two, whatever you wanna call it. This one is a bit of an unpopular, maybe, uh, opinion and you know, it's possibly you will not be expecting me to say this, but when I was sitting down and thinking about it and writing down all my points and stuff, this came to mind and I was just like, yes, this is so true. To be more confident or to learn to be more confident, you have to learn to forgive yourself and forgive other people. We can feel so guilty of things that we've done wrong or things that we've done in the past, things that we've done to other people and just mistakes that we have made. And we just feel so, 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 so guilty that we're not able to forgive ourselves and we hold ourselves bound. We hold ourselves in condemnation every single day, every single time. We condemn ourselves and we keep thinking about that thing that we've done that, you know, was not right, that was not good and all of this and we just, and it just keeps playing around, 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 around in our heads. And that actually makes us to feel low. That also makes us to feel negative. It makes us to feel down. And so we need to learn to forgive. When you forgive yourself, what you're initially saying is, yes, I admit that I did wrong. I did wrong to myself. I did wrong to somebody else. I did wrong in this situation. Yes, I admit that I did wrong. But however, for me to move forward, I will forgive myself. I forgive myself of that situation because yes, it was a mistake. I acknowledge that I did wrong and yes, I acknowledge that it was a mistake. So I decide today to let it go and to just let go of it. Now, by doing that, that will now enable you to actually be kinder to yourself, to be nicer to yourself and actually allow yourself or give yourself permission to move on. And that's another step to growth. Yeah, because everything to do with confidence, to be more confident, it's all about growth. Yeah, we're all out here trying to develop ourselves. We talk about personal development and all of that. And I think in personal development as well, quite a lot of us out here need to do a lot of soul searching. Just look inside ourselves and what analyze what's been holding us back and say, okay, analyzing it, identifying it, calling it out for what it is and actually dealing with it. Once we've dealt with it, let it go, let go of it, cut it off and now give ourselves permission to breathe, to grow and to move forward. So to be able to do that, forgive yourself because um, unforgiveness is literally like as if you've got a chain tied around your foot and you're tied to a tree and you will be walking, 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 but you can only just go so far because that chain is holding you back but today we need to cut off that chain take off that shackle cut it off so that we can go as far as we can go also i would say learn to forgive other people that person that hurt you those people that did you wrong people who were never there for you who you expected them to be there for you people who possibly abused you who possibly you know harmed you whatever learn to forgive them because when we have unforgiveness in our hearts towards somebody we can be do you know that being bitter and having such negativity in our hearts can actually cause palpa uh, what's it populations is it population or papu populations whatever like basically making your heart beat more rapidly than it should that's why you have so many people out here dying early because of like heart attacks or um, having like issues with their hearts because they've not learned to forgive people. Yes, I'm not um, dismissing the fact that people did you wrong. I'm not dismissing that. And I'm not even, you know, justifying what they did to you. No, it was completely wrong. But for you to be able to move on, to now move on with your life and learn and become more confident in who you are, you have to let go of that situation. You have to forgive that person. And I, I trust me, I've had a lot of forgiveness to be doing. During this time of quarantine, there was a time when I was praying and the Holy Spirit had to show me my heart. And I was like, what? I'm still holding on to that? Here's me thinking that, yeah, I was over it. 
but in my whole mannerism in my whole way of being i hadn't actually let go of that situation so i had to come down before the lord and actually repent asking for his forgiveness saying that i forgive that person i forgive from that situation whatever and from the day that i did that it's like now it's just like even i feel i've even gotten a more of a confidence boost because i was able to say yes that situation is not holding me down anymore i can actually move on and actually move on with my life without having this situation hover over my head and me just repeating everything that was happening and um having this person living in my head rent free what that's too expensive mate now nah, cut that off forgive people forgive them let go and let go of that situation and you'll be allowing yourself to actually look at your situation and be more confident in who you are because that situation does not define you who you're becoming who you're aiming to become defines you and that will allow you now to grow and to appreciate who you are and be more confident in your skin and in your life now point number three in learning to be more confident another one you might not be expecting me to be saying this but i'll explain number one learn to acknowledge your flaws simple as that learn to acknowledge your flaws learn to acknowledge that yes there's certain things that you're not good at there's certain things that is just not for you so once you now acknowledge your flaws that would then enable you to turn around and fix your focus to acknowledge your strengths look to your strengths what are you good at what do you know that you have been called to do what do you know that comes to you so easily that you can do it even with your eyes closed even whilst you're sleeping and by you doing that you will see yourself become more confident even people around you will say wow there's a different glow about you there's a different look about there's something about you but little would they know is because you have not you have acknowledged that yes i know i've got flaws these are my strengths and i'm living in my strength i'm putting my strength in um in practice I'm putting my strength into my daily routine, into my daily thing, and focusing on that. And that's you focusing on something more positive. And focusing on positivity will bring you positivity. And through that, as you grow, you will start to blossom. You will start to blossom into that beautiful flower, into that beautiful being. And child, that confidence will come like that. I just really hope that this video has been able to bless you, has been able to encourage you. And if you enjoyed what I've said, please feel free to share it with a friend, brother, sister, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever, auntie, uncle, the whole lot. Share it with your people them. And yeah, give me a like. Feel free to come and subscribe. Join this side of the YouTube sphere. And you can catch me on my other social media accounts such as Instagram. I'm very active on Instagram and also on Twitter. And let's have a conversation. What are your tips that you can give about encouraging people to become more confident? What are your tips? Let me know, write it down in the description bar and let's all encourage each other and let's all take this step and leap of faith in becoming more confident so guys i shall see you in my next video so have a beautiful day night evening dawn wherever you are in the world and see you